The wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall. Forge on through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Unkindled one, head to the high wall's base. Go through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. But beware. The dog keeps a close eye on things. The vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley. Yo, I don't know what the fuck kind of dogs these is. I don't know what the fuck kind of. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck kind of. I don't know what the fuck kind of. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck kind of dogs these is. Dogs these is. Dog. 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 Oh, that scared me. Um, forgot what I was gonna say. I know what this one. Oh yeah, sure. Let's see. Let's see about doing some. Uh, can I offer you any other services, my fine lady? We seem to be about the same age. I'm seventy-nine. You're forty-two. Come on. I wish we could. That would be funny. Alright, uh... I was gonna say... Oh, yeah. This is what I was gonna do. So, what she gave me was something I can use to get the hell out of this castle. And, uh, this. Which is a... A, a mark of a covenant. Pale blue sheepskin parchment featuring an illustration of the moon. Symbol of an ancient accord. Members of the Way of Blue are beneficiaries of an ancient accord. When a dark spirit threatens them, a blue, sen a blue spirit will grant them assistance and help to root out the invader. Summoning takes place automatically while this is equipped. So you put this bad boy on, and noble uh, blue sentinels slash blades of the dark moon can help you from invaders. Uh, which is also a nice way to balance out invading. This is my philosophy. If someone's invading you and you don't want them there, a blue sentinel or a blade of the dark moon should do their job. No one should ever say, "Oh, the blade blades of the dark moon and blue sentinels are a fucking are a fucking griefing a griefing covenant." When the entire point is because, all right, picture it like this: someone who is confident. Oh fuck. Yeah, this guy's tougher than the usual. Come on, just kill him, Albert. I can't do this. I can't do this, Albert! No! Oh! Okay. That was so close. Oh, and it's just a refined gem. It wouldn't even have been worth it. Fucking hell. Albert, Albert did his best. Let's head back. Uh, use these little bones here. You can go to the shrine or the last bonfire. But yeah, uh, picture it like this. Anyone who's confident enough to deal with invaders on their own will not use the Way of Blue Covenant, which grants you assistance. If you don't give a fuck about invaders, you won't put that covenant on. If you're a person who's like, alright, fuck invaders, I do not want them fucking with my game, then that person has every right to fucking ask for assistance. I mean, they're the one invading, so... Why the fuck... Why the fuck does... There's no fair argument there. <laughs> That's just my perspective. Because I used to be... I used to be sympathetic to invaders. In a lot of different senses, but... If you're if you're putting on the covenant, it's because you want them to die. 
You don't owe... Because a lot of people will duel in this game, where you bow to each other, and then you don't use any Estus. So it's like an actual test of your skill. Um, but yeah. You don't, don't always treat invaders with respect. Because they won't always return it. Uh, yeah. Alright, fucking alright. We can use our fucking ultimate katana of orgasmic awesomeness. <laughs> Doing the fucking Draven solo. <laughs> fucking blue gender soundtrack. That shit's a weird. You can tell that the person who made it isn't necessarily super duper talented. Blue Gender soundtrack. Blue Gender is a, like an 80s or 90s anime that I used, I, I've watched. Um, like not not even that they're not ta not talented, but they're not they're not extremely talented. But it's still an amazing finished product. Um, yeah. Now that I think of it, fellas, there's someone I gotta pay a visit to. Someone... I owe a little favor. You remember me, motherfucker? Yeah! Eat my ass, bitch! I sound like the Oblivion... Oblivion Guards. FOR THE EMPIRE! STOP, CRIMINAL SLUM! YOU HAVE VIOLATED MY MOTHER! <laughs> now I'm exaggerating the voice. STOP, CRIMINAL SCUM! YOU HAVE VIOLATED THE LAW! It, it, that voice is really hard to actually do. I'm normally okay at doing voices, but... But the next couple of minutes be just me trying to refine that one line. See that? See how easy that was, guys? I didn't even get hit. That's how you know I'm a kind of kind of a baller baller ass. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Stop right there, crimp! It's such a hard voice to do. I am actually embarrassing myself trying to replicate it, but you guys know me that I'm actually not too terrible at, like, replicating certain voices. Like, here, here, uh, I'll do, uh, uh, what's one, what's one I can do? <laughs> Cut. Lamp oil? Ropes? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're... Mm, richer. Fuck, I went here without spending my souls. Well, 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 what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? I still haven't think of, thought of a single voice that I'm actually good at, so I guess I'm not even slightly good. I've never noticed how there's fucking little dust particles that kick up every time he does it. <laughs> fucking, um... The clo- <laughs> Not even the closest one. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore, okay, you guys? You guys embarrassed me. I feel like I have ultimate power wielding this weapon of Japan origin. Yeah, sorry for having such long episodes the first time. Truthfully, I might still make a habit out of it because I kind of feel weird about the idea of 10-15 minute episodes with this game because... Not even 10, 15 minute episodes, but the last ones were pretty long. I don't know, it takes it takes a bit for an episode to feel complete in my eyes. 
Anyways, look at this fucking, this fucking weirdo. You know, it's probably not a good sign when, uh, homie's got bones in the corner of his shit, and he was locked up in here to begin with. And he looks like those little thrall guys. Hmm. Ah. You know Jailer, are you? No. No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord. Just a, a very old settlement of undead. Mm. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief. But I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? You know what? I like a stand-up guy. And you got gusto. I like the cut of your jib. You're okay by me, yellow book. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement. And I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part and I'll do mine. Hmm. Still sketched out about that guy. I mean, he was upfront about being a thief. He said he's reliable though. And that he has more wits than most royalty. Gotta admit, I've never trusted the rich as much as I can trust someone who's poor. So at least he's got that going for him. I'll give him a chance, but... Seems sketchy. Sounds a bit tapped. Got that shaky Vietnam War veteran tone to his voice. I don't know why I went over here. I went over here for no reason. Truthfully, we should level up. So let's go do that. <laughs> Would you please grant me the milky of a true mommy? <laughs> if our guy had voice acting, that would be it. My Xbox is fucking pissing its pants right now. I don't know if you guys took note of this when I did it the first time when I walked up to her and bowed. But, uh, if you do emotes in front of her, she has little reactions. And I think she's the only character in the whole game that does that. Let alone the entire series. I don't think any anybody in the whole series does that. No. Get that. Uh, that, that little feller gray rat said he would be here, right? I'm just fucking with you guys. I know he's gonna be there. I was looking that way to f <laughs> throw you off, but let's just play this straight. Hello, mate. Oh, hello, you're back. I'm in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I've got them. <laughs> I like how he's, he consistently says ask. He doesn't say ask, he says ask. He pr how he pronounces it. Because at first he says, I have a favor to ask you. Kind of sounds like a weird fucking Irish, slightly Irish accent. Not full on Irish. Don't, don't pin me down and fuck me in the comments below, guys. Unless you, you know, like, wanted to or something. 
I mean, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if you really wanted to do that, I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't mind too much. <laughs> I mean, come on. I might get a crossbow. Because that would be an epic fucking pairing. Ugh. Then I couldn't use my katana one-handed. Hmm. Throwing knives! This guy's gonna be the incel shinobi. This is the this is the equivalent to uh to uh you know uh Goodbye. and stay safe. Oh, this place is a ball. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> <laughs> I love how he laughs to himself after. Um, so this is the new configuration. We got a decent amount of those, but I truthfully kind of need more fire bombs. Whoa! Look at that little crack of light seeping through. I wonder if that was purposeful. It does not look like it. But then, then again, there's a god ray. See that god ray? The uh, uh, volumetric lighting. That's crazy. I... Truthfully, I am gonna... Nah, no. I wasn't gonna end it, don't worry, guys. I was thinking about grinding and getting fire bombs, but we'll just keep moving on for now. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that's how I'd ever transition back from I literally just fucking had a smoke took a shit and fucking uh <laughs> I don't know if this is too much information but yeah I had to talk to people a motherfucker getting some holes tonight God motherfucking damn. This N word getting some holes tonight. God motherfucking damn. Here's an easy way to get free souls. Every time you pass by here, he kills all the guys, pretty much. And then you get souls. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's how intense I get when I'm in the fucking pussy, bro. I th ugh. I just heard the fucking Grey's Anatomy theme and I thought it was a doorbell. Hey, yo, Mobby on that Grey's... Grey's in anime? That was apparently a, a mad... Joy stabbing in the back. Boy, I'm not gonna try that, no, sir. He's a big boy. Eh. You know what? Fuck it. Let's fight this little any. That's that one attack, though. Yo, he that N word. Huh, I followed the advice, and I, I benefited greatly. Why am I fighting a wing at night? Who doesn't give a fuck about me? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, those guys are called Winged Knights. I, I made a character that's one of them once. His name's Gentris. I'm pretty sure you guys remember him. Unless you don't give a fuck about the Fence Rascal channel, then I'm gonna kick your ass, buddy. Uh, we don't need a... we don't need a, a pike bar. We don't need a like bar, a pike bar, or a kike bar. <laughs> I actually have no clue what a kike is. I think that's like a European slur, or is it like a lesbian slur? It sounds like dyke. Uh, not even just European, it sounds like some kind of... Hey, you fucking kike! 
Like it's like a name for a gypsy. I'm gonna sound really bad if that's something worse. If you beat the sword master, you can get him as a summon for, uh, you know, nothing. It's definitely not anything at the end of this room or anything like that. Mom's TV is too fucking loud. Sorry if y'all can hear that in the background. Yes, I still live with my mom. I have never had a job. And I'm doing Let's Plays on YouTube. I know I'm a failure. But at least I'm somewhat happy at this point in my life. Boy, I, did, I had to bring that shit up. If Fresh FD Steven was watching this, he'd be like, Ha, so true. You fucking suck, idiot. No offense, Steve, but you be kind of wild with insulting people's education and shit, bro. I'm just saying, Steve O. That, that was no way it meant to be like a serious diss. Uh, I love you, Steven. That's my, that's my dog right there. I love that kid, bro. You guys ever see that? Ah! Fuck! I was so close. That would have been so fun. Damn it! Fuck! <sighs> All right. Uh... Fuck it, we'll fight him next time. See you later, y'all. Oh, and, and here's what I was talking about. It's a clip of Han Solo doing a really bad, or Harrison Ford doing a really bad take as Han Solo, and then he puts the mic in his mouth for some reason. <laughs>